Hello friends and welcome back to the channel where today we're going to spend a few minutes talking about Shuri. So the details of Shuri's rebalancing went live last week. The changes are all focused on speeding up her ramp and making her damage easier to maintain. Both of these things going to help her significantly in smaller health pools. That said, as I was testing her the past few weeks, kind of revisiting her kit, uh, I was reminded of what was my biggest criticism of Shuri when she was released, and that is that it really seems like she is designed for content that, that just doesn't exist right now. So fast forward to a few weeks ago when Kabam snuck this little nugget into their forum post about updates to the Apothecary. It reads, additionally, we wouldn't see any more Everest content such as our follow-up to Abyss, which is currently in planning stages, as well as other challenging content on which we have not yet started development. So we know for certain, based on this, that something is on the horizon, and while anything that I, or anybody else for that matter, says about this content is pure speculation at this point, I do want to speculate on it anyways, uh, specifically about how I think Shuri could possibly be the best champ or m among the best champs uh, for this upcoming Everest content. Okay, let's talk numbers here first. So the fight you're seeing on screen is a rank 4 Shuri against Labyrinth Star-Lord. The only synergy I have here is a House of X pre-fight, which does give her a little bit of an attack boost, but I really just wanted the easy parry stuns. She's also fully boosted here, so do take that into consideration. Now after the rebalance, her shock debuffs and her crit shock passives max out at 50 stacks each. Here they're ticking for 6,652 damage, which is roughly 13,000 damage per second, okay? Now getting to that point does take about 75 to 100 hits, and maintaining it though is as easy as landing a heavy attack every so often to refresh everything, so it is very efficient. Now let's take a look at health pools. So in Labyrinth, the fights on the easy path had about 1.5 million health each, and the enigmatic fights in the middle of the map had about 3.3 million. There are some exceptions to this, of course, but the majority of them stick to that rule, right? Now in Abyss, we saw a 73% increase in the size of health pools across the board. So the standard defenders in Abyss have 2.6 million health, and then the ones with Abyssal abilities have 5.7 million. So if we use this as a guide, and keep in mind this is all speculation, we could maybe estimate that the health pools in the next Abyss, or Abyss 2, Electric Boogaloo, or whatever you want to call it, could be around 4.5 million for the standard defenders and a whopping 9.8 million for the more advanced ones. That is a lot of health. Now, in this fight with Star-Lord, I took off around 950k just getting her ramped up. That ramp took about 2 minutes or so. So if we subtract that number from the health pool estimates and then divide by her damage per second, we get about 4.5 minutes for the smaller 4.5 million health pool and 11.3 minutes for the larger 9.8 million health pool. And that doesn't account for damage on the heavies themselves and on the SP3, which is a flat value of around 150k. So for 9.8 million health points, she would take roughly 12-ish minutes to get through it. So when I did the calculations for this stuff, I really sat back and considered these numbers. And when I factored in that the next Abyss is very likely to have a damage cap similar to, you know, Abyss and Labyrinth today, also probably some sort of hit limit, uh, I concluded that I don't think there is any other champ in the game right now who is going to not only match Shuri's damage output, but also match her efficiency. So your typical Everest champs like Aegon, Guillotine2099, they have ridiculous damage output, but all their damage is per hit. And once Shuri is ramped, a heavy here, heavy there, and you're really good to go. 13,000 damage per second with a minimal amount of hits, and that's only at 6 star rank 4. So Shuri, by the way, is in the initial 7 star pool. We already know that 7 stars at rank 1 are going to be slightly more powerful than rank 4 6 stars. And of course, as this year progresses, we are going to probably start seeing the tier 6 class catalyst become more available. So when you consider how much that might increase her damage at 6R5 or 7R2, you can kind of hopefully see what I'm seeing. Now, of course, we can probably expect that a lot of these fights in the next Everest content are going to be 
probably a bit more complicated than just parrying and heavying until the defender dies. So I'm sure she won't be able to plow through like every defender in the content. Uh, but I did think it was worth considering just how powerful she is likely to be when that content she is designed for actually does exist. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.